guys, thanks for joining me. Um, it's time for another of my sales videos. Oh god, I'm trying to move my chair into the desk and it's just not working. <laughs> oh dear, that wasn't a good start, was it? Yeah, it's time for a roundup of my sales in June. Um, June was an up and down month, really, for me. Um, I would say that July even though I've been away for a couple of weeks, has been far more, or felt far more solid so far. But um, yeah, June was a bit up and down, but I did have some nice sales. So without further ado, let's have a look at some of the, my top 20, I think it is, that I've got to show you today. Um, this was a nice jacket that I bought from a car boot sale for £10, and it sold for £89.99, oh, sorry, £89.99, and the Harris Tweed, um, logo of course always commands a good price um it was really in nice condition this jacket beautiful it looked so it hadn't had hardly been worn so um yeah that was a nice sale um next this sunday rally lunar sleeping night oil which is a lady skincare product um i just wanted to show you this really to make the point that um what you see isn't always the reality in a sales shot on Instagram or watching sales videos. Sometimes I don't watch a lot of sales videos, but um, yeah, but pictures on Facebook and things. Um, this product, I bought a job lot of these. There was a misprice on um, a beauty site that I frequent um, back at Christmas time and I bought 10 of these I think it was yeah 10 because there's six sold and four available um for 40 pounds each I think it was 40 pounds or 45 pounds each um they should be 85 pounds each or RRP is 85 pounds um so I've been selling them slowly so although that looks like a great sale at £75.46, the reality is that I paid £45 for it. And I don't mind that. I'm happy with the slow, you know, profit. Uh, they're probably in that there's around 20 to £25 profit, I would think, somewhere in between those figures without actually feeding it into a spreadsheet. I don't know. Um, but yeah, that, that's not what it looks like, is it? So just, just remember when you're feeling a bit down, looking at other people's sales, that just what you see in a quick screen grab is not always what the reality is. Um, right, what else? Um, this All Saints jacket, I can't remember what I paid for this. I've got a feeling it was 12. Um, it was a lovely jacket, sort of a riding jacket type thing. Um, All Saints jackets always go well for me. I think they're just lovely, really nice quality. Um, this went for £58.60. Um, I got some random numbers on at the moment. I, I was playing around trying to um, boost sales and I was reducing stuff by 2% and putting stuff up by 2% and uh, even been messing around with best offer. Um, the last couple of months, which is most unlike me. I'm not a massive fan of Best Off, although I like it a little bit better now. But um, yeah, that was quite a nice sale. Like, as I said, I can't remember exactly what I paid for it. It might have been 12, might have been 15. Um, this cardigan, <laughs> cashmere cardigan, beautiful sort of lightweight cashmere cardigan. It was brand new with its tags. I paid 20 for this one, I think. And this was the cardigan that I sold the day I was leaving to go to Las Vegas. And um, literally just 10 minutes before I switched my shop off, I sold it. Could I find the damn thing? No, I couldn't. I searched high and low. Um... Ashley even helped me search for it. I couldn't find it. I eventually, in despair, and it was, I'd had a really poor week of sales before I went to Las Vegas as well. And I, I, in the end, I had to cancel the sale, refund the buyer. And I messaged her and said, I'm really sorry, I can't find this. I would continue to search for it, but I'm going away. Um, so I'll refund you. And um, it really hurt having to do that, but I just, I couldn't find it. Anyway, about 15 minutes after that, Ashley came in holding the thing, the cardigan, and said, look, I found it. And it was hung up exactly where it was supposed to be. And for some reason, I just hadn't been able to find it. Um, no idea why. So I messaged the woman again. I said, you're going to think I'm mad, but I have just found the cardigan again. So I'm going to relist it if you want to go ahead and buy it. This is the link. And uh, but she never bought it. 
but finally it sold again for £58.80 and I was very happy to see it go. So obviously she did think I was a nutter and didn't want to buy it, but someone else bought it and was presumably happy with it in the end. So all's well that ends well. Um, this LK Bennett dress, this was a beautiful dress. Um, like sort of very bodycon, um, that sort of thick, sort of almost sheeny fabric. Um, I found the name of it online with a bit of googling as well, the um, design name, which I always think helps sell a dress, sort of a higher end dress with Hobbs and LK Bennett and some of Jigsaw's dresses. They have um, style names as well, so um, it's always worth googling and seeing if you can find it. Um, it was a good size, this as well, it was a 16 and I had a lot of interest in it. Um, I had it on with best offer and I had several offers around the £35 mark and even when I, the RRP on this dress is 175 and even when I was really low on sales and really wanting to make numbers up, I just couldn't bring myself to sell it for 35. I paid 10 for it, by the way. Um, so then I, I relisted it again. It came to the end of its 30 days. I relisted it again. And when I relist stuff, I take best offer off. That's how I've been doing it. And, um, it sold almost almost instantly after I relisted it at full asking price for 45 so I was quite pleased with that. Um, I was glad I hadn't accepted any of the um, £45 offers. So that's the, um, the picture there on the left is the um, picture of, uh, what am I trying to say, the retailer's picture, the actual reality of the dress. You see it doesn't look really as nice, that's what it looked like um, on my mannequin which sometimes these bodycon dresses they cling very much and um, go in at the skirt they don't look great do they but that looks far nicer so I used that picture um right what next Ted Baker men's trousers these are brand new with toes very uninteresting they're just grey wool trousers uh, sort of charcoal grey colour they were brand new with tags they've got a tag on there you can see 109 pounds um they took a while to sell. I paid 15 for those. They did take a while to sell. I sold them 57. Um, these Russell and Bromley shoes, just a classic black flat patent, almost like a loafer, a, a, a version of a loafer, I guess. Lovely condition. I paid 10 for these and they sold in their first 30 day cycle. I took an offer of 50 on these. So they were nice profit, nice quick turnaround. Pleased with that. Um, this is one of the lots from my um, craft, big craft, craft haul recently. Um, 100 skeins of anchor tapestry wool and it sold for £49.05. So that was nice. It does. I can't work out exactly what it owes me because obviously um, I'm still in the process of selling the craft stuff. I think I'm, I originally paid £1,500. I've still got loads of it unlisted and I think I'm up to around 850 after shipping and fees now so um well on the way to making my initial investment back which is always nice when you get to break even point this burberry skirt I, oh sorry just dropped a bottle of water it was it did have a lid on fiddling here fiddling um beautiful red satin skirt this went on gsp to germany it was um brand new it didn't have its tags original price tag but it did have this little um the plastic, don't know what you call that, plastic tag I guess. Um, yeah, it was a really nice skirt this. I took an offer of 40 on this. It was a slow weekend and I took an offer of 40. It's a really nice profit going from, did I say eight I paid for? I think I paid eight, yeah. Um, so that, that was a good profit. I was happy with that just to get it turned around. Um, Diane von Furstenberg DVF, that is the label with the little hologram there, let me just show you that, um, famous American designer, her iconic wrap dresses um, really do hold their value, this was just a um, tunic type dress, um, top even, not quite a dress, um, it was a 16 UK so a good size, bear in mind the labels on her garments are always American sizes so go up two sizes as a general rule of thumb. It was 100% silk, nice picture of my fingernail there um, and that sold really quickly in its first 30 day cycle. I took an offer of 35 on that, I think I paid 
either eight or ten I can't remember oh LK Bennett flat sandals box those were really nice little sandals and they took over a year to sell I would say not sure um, about 18 months I think they might have taken to sell and they went to, on GSP to Australia um, I had this as the um, main picture for a long time and I switched it to that sort of top view um, and they sold not long after I switched it so whether that had anything to do with it I don't know um, I, th I can't remember what I paid for these it was so long ago it wouldn't have been more than 10 though um, Ted Baker dress I paid four pounds for this it was 100% silk which I didn't know when I bought it um, but it's a really pretty sort of fit and flare summer dress that quite classic style really nice si um, nice size it was a three Ted, Ted's size three Ted has his own sizes because he's special doesn't he and uh, it had that nice sort of polka dot um, pinstripe pattern on it um, yeah really pretty dress um, it didn't did it sell for 40 yeah I think it did I've just checked all the actual selling prices yes that one sold for 40 yeah that sold for the price it showed why does it not show what it sold for on the screenshots when you take a best offer why does it still show full price sort it out eBay ridiculous um, yeah anyway that was a nice sale four pounds into 40 so I was happy with that um, BHS beautiful jackets these are these are part of my BHS haul and they have been I thought they would go really well I've reduced and reduced and reduced I'm not taking them any lower than $24.99 they can just sit and wait for sales I've just sold another one this week and gone actually to somebody um I'm gonna say in Australia again I don't know if she was anyway it doesn't matter um, but I thought these would fly out I'm really disappointed at how slow these have been they've got an RRP of 120 quid on them it shows on the other side of the tag perhaps I should put the picture of the tag with the RRP in it um, but yeah they're, they've been very very slow to sell but um, I was pleased to see a couple of them going recently that's been nice um, River Island ladies biker jacket I happened to be in the charity shop when they were putting this out it was eight pounds and um, real leather really nice I like the, um, the the quality of this leather was nice it was really soft um, just a, a really nice piece um, nice workmanship as well it sold once and came back for not fitting and then it sold again I took an offer of 35 on it um, and yeah nice jacket I enjoyed selling that one it was nice and um, this I just wanted to show you these because sorry just having a mouthful of water all this talking is giving me a dry mouth and I've had to turn my fan off in here because it makes such a noise um, while I film this um, I bought these for myself several years ago and they're sat in my wardrobe in a box and they're now far too high for me to wear um, I paid £20 for them in a post-Christmas sale. Um, so it amused me greatly that I sold them for £34.29 several years later. They have, were new in their box, but um, yeah, that was quite a nice sale. Um, more um, haberdashery craft haul stuff. Um, Gutemann Sewing Thread is a very, very good brand. Um, I had loads of these. I've got several different lots listed. I decided to sell them in... Um, sets of 20 some of them have still got their seals on as you can see and some haven't I have noted that in the condition box and the, dis or the description I think um, uh, uh, these are selling for 36.96 with free postage um, yeah monsoon skirt this is a blue midi skirt um, I cannot remember what I paid for this I've got the number six in my mind I think I might have paid six pounds for it but um, it was brand new with its tags it was cotton oh sorry that was the cat coming in the flap um, it's a size 18 so a good size it had an 80 pound tag on it, it had some nice um, embroidery detail there um, almost sort of a broderie on glaze type um, edging thing um, yeah that's all for 31.96 um, this nice pair of shoes this was hotter boutique um, it says hotter on the bottoms there I don't know if you can see it. yeah there in that one it says boutique by hotter that's not something I've come across before 
um, I'm not sure it still exists actually when I was researching it I couldn't find anything but they are brand new um, I paid six pounds for these at a car boot sale and I wasn't sure with the high heel because they had a three inch heel I think it was um, that they would go well because I think most people who buy hotter shoes like the flatter ones but they did they went really quite quickly um, for 30.65 um, another item from my craft haul a big tapestry canvas uh, this was just the canvas by itself no um, threads or anything this was a really big one it was um, 76 by 38 centimeters and um, that went for 30 pounds plus postage that was a nice sale I wonder how many times I've said nice sale in this video. If it was a drinking game, I think we'd all be several tequilas down by now. <laughs> right, Paruna steampunk layered skirt. I didn't sell this for £45. I wish I had. Um, the This style of skirt with the right keywords sells really well. Um, it's, what did I pay? I paid £2 for this one. It sold for 30. I took an offer of 30 on a slow day. I was going to hold out for a bit more, but when you get those offers on a slow day and you've paid two pounds for it, I do try and think that's a great profit. Just get it gone, move on to the next thing. So I was happy with that. And finally, well done if you're still here. It feels like it's been a really long one. This I haven't got a timer on my um screen recording software so I don't know how long I've been banging on for but it feels like quite a long time um Gianni Versace men's purple tie I bought this from a charity shop for 2 99 um it's got the little Versace head logos on I think that's the closest um I get same same logos on the perfume and everything that um sort of is it Medusa head don't know why I'm saying that. No, I don't think it is producer. I don't know anyway. But yeah, that was a nice sale. Two ninety nine into twenty nine thirty nine, and that's a roundup of my June sales, guys. I hope sales are good for. Oh God, I'm losing the will to or the ability to speak. <coughs> Excuse me. Hope sales are good for everybody else. I'm going to go and edit and upload this now. And um, yeah, I'll speak to you soon. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.